Hello friends on YouTube. See you again with another new video. Today I am going to present the process of double axles that I just invented. In the previous video, I have shown separately between the end axle and the middle axle. For this video, I will make a joint demonstration between the end axle and the middle axle, including the functions I have installed on the middle axle, to control the end axle as well as the control over the middle axle itself. Now, look at what I am pointing at, I will pull it forward. After I pulled it, now look at the drive shaft, it stopped working. So we see that the end axle has been disconnected, but note that, even if it is disconnected from the middle axle, we must not freeze the end axle. We must allow it to move normally according to the traction of the middle axle. Now I will connect the end axle and I will disconnect the middle axle. Remember to look at the end axle together. Now take a look at where I point this one. I will pull it forward. Now I have pulled it forward and the end axle is also working. Take a look at the middle axle. It is already disconnected. We must also note that the middle axle, as well as the end axle, must not be jammed, but should move normally with the push and pull of the end axle. Now the end axle is working, and the middle axle is disconnected. I will push this key back to disconnect both axles. I will now push this key backwards to re-enable both axles. Both axles are now working. Now make a note of all this. Both this place, and this one place. I will only pull this one key forward. Now both axles are disconnected. Look, the drive shaft controlled by the motor is still working normally. The middle axle and end axle have stopped working. But this drive shaft is still running normally. I still let this drive shaft work with the motor. And I will connect these two axles again. Now look at the detailed operation of these two axles again.
Now let's look inside. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. See you on the next video.